Yo, what's up everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. This is going to be a very quick and simple tutorial for my uh, fellow modelers. They're having a hard time trying to import a model with this new Roblox Studio UI update because um, it's not here anymore. Not gonna lie, this UI actually does look really clean though. Just gotta give to give it to Roblox for this. Um, they actually did something properly for once. Uh, this actually looks really good. It's Everything looks really organized. I like the look on this. It's not like normal solid flat colors. So yeah, you would expect it to be some over here like how we had it before, but they've actually upgraded it and they're trying to use the more modern method, which we go up to file and you hit import 3D over here. Since so this is the new import 3D importer, whatever it was called, it's up here now, no longer over here. If you guys want this UI, by the way, if you guys do not have it already, you go to beta features and you just turn it on. I don't know which one it is, but it's one of these uh, they also did add this new uh bit of feature import queue where you can like queue up multiple files to import at the same time which is pretty dope as well for like larger projects i am really looking forward to future updates if they can keep it up like this um because this was actually really neat uh, i'm not sure if we're gonna do the same thing to these side ones i don't think it's really matching but that's pretty much it for this tutorial let me know what you guys th thoughts are on this uh on this new ui and let me know if you guys need more tutorials uh things i already do have planned is just making stuff like recolorable uh mesh with texture overlay i am i have been planning to make this for a while i just it's just turning out to be a little bit longer than i've expected it to be um so that's gonna take me a little bit but for the short tutorials i will be posting them uh pretty frequently honestly i think in the next few weeks i'll be dropping quite a few tutorials so make sure you guys stay tuned for that and let me know your thoughts again on this new ui update and i'll hopefully see you guys in the next video goodbye